it's my business. Oh, his note will say that. I had to go to the garden. I was like, oh, someone went to the mail. Oh, we're supposed to figure that out ourselves? How are we supposed to figure that shit out? How do we know this? You know, it's actually to read the letter. I tried to remind myself that I should give a raise to my efficient assistant. Dear Mother, I spent the whole morning running a few errands for the Blackwood family. On the way back, many thoughts crossed my mind. I take back what I said. I want to return home. Things haven't gotten any better here. Everyone is behaving mysteriously. They try to avoid me. I do understand that they must still be disturbed about the death of their son. But it has been almost two years since that already. I feel like an alien. I don't belong here anymore. And I find it hard to sleep at night. There's too much activity in this house. Too much moving around and that's unnerving me. I feel something terrible is going on here. I want to go as far away as possible. I will miss Mrs. Blackwood dearly. She has always been kind to me. I'm afraid my health's at stake. I've been seeing some strange things too. I can't explain it, but I think someone did something very wrong. Dr. Milton loved to come talk. Come to talk with the sir for many hours. And nobody would allow me upstairs. Though I've been secretly taking pictures there. I hope this doesn't upset you. But don't worry, they're all well hidden under a loose board beneath my bedside table. Please, mother, forgive me. I know I should have listened to you. It's not like I'm stubborn. I just wanted to. Just wanted to wait and see if things wouldn't get any better for myself. They haven't. And that's why I'm asking you. And that's why. I'm asking you for a place to stay until I sort out my situation. Call me as soon as you can. I usually have to stay in town until 5 o'clock. Lately, I've been coming back about an hour earlier. I just want to leave this place. If I said I'm scared, I'll be waiting. Please hurry. With love, you know. You sleeping over there? Annie doesn't say shit about it. I hate this cat. I hate my mom. Right, uh, go to the maid's room. You said loose band in the nightstand table. You should dare, he didn't, he didn't remember. If he doesn't remember that, then I'm gonna be pissed as hell. Such. Night stands. Go! <laughs> Over here. Over there. Don't tell me he doesn't know. Oh, oh, look at this. Tells me to go to the greenhouse, but we already went to the greenhouse. He doesn't say anything about what happened. So I already went to the greenhouse. I did things in a different order. I need to go to the basement. I'm 
some reason using the crowbar on the, the drain valve. Why? I don't know. For some reason, the game's intriguing me, but the game's also pissing me off. Crowbar. <laughs> well, there was a reason to use a crowbar. Let me use it elsewhere. Where's my... Can I use it? Did I do it or not? There's no way to fill with the valve. Okay. And what's with this? I can do this. Okay, remember. Read better, do better, do a lot of stuff better. Which I'm not doing at all. I know this freaking translated. I got a big. I know the picture. It's in that garden. It's somewhere in the garden. I just need to go to the greenhouse, open the valve, watering. Wetting the soil where this, where the shovel is stuck in. Get the shovel and go in the garden and see if it was buried or not. If it was buried, then it means Mrs. Black is still dead. If there's nothing there, that means that means that she's the one walking around. Only explanation. But water should be flowing now. I know where I went, I went to the pool. Long way. For, for one time, I'm not losing my way over here. Okay, this. Final key. I went through a lot to get that small key. That's the key for the for the desk, don't worry. was the void of wine. Yes, place. I don't know where I should be. We don't know the actual location. I'm gonna check the picture again, but since we have the key, I'm going to the study room. And open that desk drawer. First of all, I beg you to take the utmost care in order to keep this letter away from James. I don't like to think of the mental breakdown he would suffer if he reads this. You know James much better than I do, so you must share any conviction that he'd never harm anything, but even so, I'd ask you to be careful whenever he's around. At least until 
we sort out the situation. He has been especially unstable lately. Speaking about his determination to express his so-called curse. It's really fear for him and for his sanity. I still wouldn't say he qualifies as dangerous, but just in case, be cautious. I've been playing the role of an ally who believes in James, and so far I think I've done a good job in convincing him. I'm afraid it won't last for too much longer. I can't do all the things he's been... he's now asking me to. He's been delving into some very obscure arts. And what began as a hobby has now become a dangerous obsession. He wants me to perform an African ritual on an awful mask. He brought. He's convinced he has released an ancient spirit, which will harm everything he loves and cares for. It's also utterly insane and I'm ashamed to translate this into words. My biggest fear is that I will end losing my own mind along with this. But his. I have to put an end to all of this. And about another issue, you should know I've gotten over it. Catherine. What we all did two years ago. The decisions we made and knew would affect the course of our lives. It's been holding any sleep ever since then. I know you must be the one more affected by this, but you wouldn't understand all that has been going through my head. The confusion, the contradiction, now more than ever, I'm not sure. Whether it was the right decision or not, there's no turning back and we must face the consequences. All I wanted to say about this is that I am deeply sorry if I behaved erratically these past days and unnerved you. You have my words. I will never reveal anything. Whatever you do with the letter, make sure James doesn't feel anything suspicious. So when I have you destroy this though, extreme situations require extreme measures. What? 39529. Oh, I'm changing it. I don't know the combination. March 21st, 1962. My eyes have been fruitful and I've managed to achieve a key that was lost in the greenhouse. This seems to mean like a... Like someone lost it on purpose. I'm well, well open. Run study provided me with further revelation of the Blackwood's drama. Very tempting box. I need to know a, know a code to open it. Hmm. It's a problem. I'll be able to talk to Jerry for that. But I need to check two things. First off, the picture again. I'm gonna take a picture of the picture. That sounds... Sounds reasonable. Go to the attic and see where it is. It's over a window. That's for sure. Just need to go up and up and up and up and up. How far up do we need to go to? That far. Yes. This far. 
the check. Asshole. According to the guy, yes, stupid me, the numbers on these indicate the code of the box. So, an R is the first letter, is the first, is the initial of the bit of the kid. So, R is five, and the kid is called Robin. Eerie coincidence. Five, nine. 097 I have read it in the guide and I know of it, but I wanted to show it myself to see if it's correct in the thinking in my in the thinking of it, if it is correct because the game gives no hints whatever about what to do. Even though hints is are on, the game says oh, fuck you. This is the biggest. <laughs> what was that? Probably just a fireplace. Right. Go to the study and open the box. Five, nine, zero, nine, seven. Adorned with crap. Yeah, the chapel. Is that where he's hiding the entire time? And if so, I will explain it. Maybe the, the furnace is there. Oh. I just needed a check. Produce a loud noise and echo in the quiet of the area. It made me wonder about the secret that have been kept safe and undisturbed in here for years. 
Not even inside a chapel did I perceive a peaceful environment. At least still, this was deeply unnerving. Yeah, I can feel that. What? African Jesus. Can I go up, Moy? No box. Chalice. Chalice was lavish and pleasing to the eye. It was sadly of no use to me. A bell. The accoutrements inside a chapel were mostly golden and shiny, and sad and fragile. This but I wasn't going to bother with light switches anymore. I know. You're small. There's a trapdoor over there. Some kind of small metal ring. My guy, you are stupid. It's not a small metal ring, it's a trap door. I've seen those multiple times now. Can't be serious. I think it was just a metal ring. Can't even... Oh. Let's find this. No. Could use something. The crowbar. Okay. Pulling. There's a lever somewhere. There must be a lever somewhere that can start the mechanism. Yeah, yeah, lots of shovel stuff. Most continued another key. Oh. That's it. R O B I N. The name of Black was that son, Robin. The cubes in this room didn't spell the word bin. A part of his name, mm -mm -mm bin. Of course, letter R I saw in the crypt came in handy now. Let's see what secrets are stored inside this box. Box containing another key, except that this one looks very important. Also, I'm wondering why exactly Black would use the name of his son as the code to the box. Guilt, perhaps? Finally, said the chapel. Mr. Black would spend most of the time during the last days. I feel it. I'm going to discoveries over here. Yeah, this thing. It's a chain yanked over there, and it's a mechanism. That's what I see. That's what I notice. But what is the lever, or whatever, to use it with? I have to go up. Must be up. No other way than up. No other way than up. Okay, up. Nothing. So I'm not on a small loft contained items that seem to have belonged to a priest. Oh, shit, there's a, a holy Bible. Holy Bible? I ain't reading the Bible. Our beloved. Oh, what the? What? What is this? It's a heavy nail and very cold to the touch. Well, that's everything. Interesting thing to have. So, what do I do with it? Heavy nail. A heavy nail. And this. Hmm. I might have an idea. Nope, wasn't useful. 
was it useful? There's a large wooden statue of Christ. There's what part of the bottom. Ah! The goes in here. Is the nail is seared in the hole now? Okay. So. Well, not only to hammer it in. Couldn't reach it. Hoba. Useful. I couldn't reach it. Okay, so, so so I need a ladder or something. Hmm. I'm gonna use all the things that I have. The new in the journal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Ah, oh, you're a liar. Such a liar. What's this? It's the paper. The hammer. Bro, I've used the crowbar. It just says it is useless. Oh, you're a dick. I so he's a dick. I thought I've used it. Bottle of sand in the room. Is it? Wait, this is the room. Okay, so what do I find? Oh, wait, yeah, there's a cat. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. The last mask? You have a hidden study in here? Whether the books got in a hidden room or about occultism and African culture. Even their tiles were destroyed. Everyone was being stupid. Jesus, help me! I got it a candle. The only candle in this entire place. This is Christopher. These may very well be my last notes in this regard. I'm afraid Catherine has already realized that what I've been doing all this time, Geraldine. In vain, I've tried to explain myself, and I know what might have been the outcome. I kept insisting. But you would only believe me, Christopher, because I know you intend well, and I can feel the doubt in your heart. Put your rational thoughts aside for a moment and yield to the facts. If I can do it, someone who has constantly thought in the wonders of science ever since his childhood, so can you. I'm hoping that you will contemplate the possibility of some truth in my assessments once you read about my latest findings. It's imperative that you carry on with this task. Catherine is watching my very step, every step. I'm afraid she'll take strong measures if I do anything out of the ordinary. Did you know? I've been talking to other doctors. Besides you, psychiatrists. My God, Christopher, I fear that she's willing to shut me up in a madhouse. How is it possible that all of you won't believe me? As if what happened with my own son wasn't enough proof. My Jason knows you'll find an exhaustive essay on the origin of the curse and what should be done to eliminate it. I know the whole amulet deal must sound crazy, but you have to trust me. The tribe has been doing this for centuries. If you're going to forfeit all that knowledge, Experience? They face the gods, Christopher, and live to tell it. Now it's our turn to live and tell the story. And Christopher, if we fail to remove the curse and anything happens to me, I want you to do it. 
and have my complete mental faculties whilst whilst I'm asking you this has been becoming more and more dangerous lately. Do not hesitate. There's simply no other way. You will be the only one left who can do it. Promise me. Promise me you will. I know I'm asking you to become a cold-hearted murderer. But Christopher, our lives, and possibly many others are at stake. Is that enough to forget your vow? Jesus. My 26th. The folklore of Dalmar is just as disturbing as Avrich's attacks. If my researches have been correct, then I could have stumbled upon one of the most ancient tribes ever known to humanity. Dating back to the era where the so-called Bushmen inhabited South Africa. I'm talking over 20,000 years ago. How could any civilization manage to survive all this time without ever hunting or expanding? Just being there. I don't dare to imagine what 200 centuries of inbreeding and cannibalism can do to people. I've seen them, and they can be called humans. What's most unsettling is their myth mystical backgrounds. Impossible to be considered a religion due to its complete lack of basic rules and maturity. The only simple premise is to keep an evil entity at bay which has been stalking him since the beginning of time or dark ages. At this point in my research, I had to stop and consider the implications. Dalmar actually thought of their later, later periods. The systemic slaughter of, man slaughtering of mankind as good times or golden ages. I thank the Lord that this tribe never managed to grow. The seriously thing the region, maybe even the entire continent, would have suffered terrible consequences. This history is so ancient that it makes me feel dizzy. Vengeful God just incidentally referred to as Dalham, or Dalham, to control the Dalmar via its many incarnations. Most of the time it will be a tall feline-like figure, always dwelling in shadows and slaying any villager who would unwittingly come close. Some say its deadly claws will not only penetrate your body, but your soul. The purpose of the harassment is unclear. It would look as if the Dalmar were Simply toys to play with. It seems then, the Dalmar managed to free themselves from its clutches with the help of an amulet or charm, which would effectively force the entity to retreat. The most curious thing is how this amulet was conceived. Two main elements were required to perform the exercising of this evil, and they were strictly related to each other. One representing the victim, another representing the victimizer. To achieve this, Something related to each one was used, whilst I'm not sure what is referred to as a victim. It can be concluded that anything belonging to any villager would have served, given that they were all victims. As for something representing the victimizer, that may have been more complicated. It could possibly be related to a god. This god in question? Next, these elements had to be mixed with a rare medicinal plant native to the region. Which apparently had the properties to blend both items together, as long as they were not solids. Finally, the branches of a particular tree whose name escapes me now had to be used as a holder of the blended items. It is on this item that a mysterious blessing was performed. It should be noted that all the elements had to be organic. Dalmar was successfully released themselves from the control of the vicious god with an intense ritual that seems to have taken days to perform. In the end, the amulet was so powerful that the entity surrendered to their will and offered divine power in exchange for sacrifices. But the Dalmar wasn't allowed to be fooled. They decided that getting rid of this evil once and for all would be the wisest thing to do. So they managed to capture its spirit and store it someplace where they could guard it for ages to come. My god, my god! The evil spirit was cast into a mask, trapped inside the confines of its blessed wood for eternity. A mask, which its description bears uncanny resemblance to. Oh my, I'm fooling. It is that mask. The Dalmar would keep this spirit at bay by irregular rituals, involving the bloody sacrifices and the aforementioned amulets. The last book I read today about the Dalmar, in reality, in reality, two small paragraphs as amusing bonus reading in a book lent by the museum, has revealed to me something that left me completely paralyzed with terror. I've always wondered since I began studying them, what made the Dalmar savagely slaughter neighboring tribes to any apparent reason. 
Was it a violent or instinct? Did he feel threatened in any way? Was it my perverse and ungodly sense of enjo enjoyment? No. It was fear. Fear that someone else would take the mask and release the gods. They killed to protect themselves from falling again into the dark ages. If they went to such extreme lengths to avoid this, then what did they have to endure when the entity was free? The rituals haven't been performed with a mask for years now. What have I done? What have I done? I'm shocked to learn about this evil. Child as it was, I still wonder to what extent James Blackwood wanted to get rid of the curse. Else? Strange tells us that the vermi mysteries give me the shivers. I much love books and didn't even dare to open those. Nothing else. The story is fully revealed to me. Now, the disturbing African mask is cursed. It isn't exactly important whether this curse is real or not. Though I'm actually willing to believe that due to my experiences inside this house, but the fact that the Blackwood believed it was very real, what drastic measures did he take to get rid of it? Murder? Sacrifice? Murder, of course. He is sacrificed, actually. He did a lot. Oh, let's get out of here. We've checked everything. We got the branch. That's the branch we need to put the stuff on. We have a branch. We have the, the berry things. Next. Oh, uh, what's next? Let's see if we can call Jerry. Hi, right, buddy, Jerry. Oh, what time? 2 p.m. Huh. Four hours later. Now. Jerry, my man. Hey, yes. Jerry, it's me. Michael, I was about to call you. Why? I've been thinking about what you told me, and you could be onto something there. But I'm worried about your safety now. This could be dangerous. What do you mean by dangerous? Well, let's suppose you're right. And James Blackwood is indeed hiding somewhere inside the house. He's a madman, a murderer, and your life could be in danger. Jerry, if James Blackwood is still alive, he'd be nothing more than a harmless, decrepit old man. I don't think I'd have any problem outdoing him. And what if he is armed? I'm willing to take that risk. He surely knows I'm here by now. What if he's waiting for me to leave so that he can escape? I can't miss this opportunity. The opportunity of what, for Christ's sake? Of knowing. I'm already too much into this, Jerry. And if I don't know what happened inside this house, I I won't be able to sleep again. You're... you're obsessed. You were supposed to finish your book, get some rest, and now look at this. What are you going to say to your editor? Who knows, maybe this whole episode inspires me to write that ending. I'm sorry. I can't leave this now, Jerry. It's, it's too late. I... I can't believe this. I don't understand you. Doesn't the possibility of spending another night in that house with a creepy old man hiding in the basement scare you? I know what you're trying to do. Goodbye, Jerry. Michael? Michael! It's dangerous, do you hear me? Dangerous! You have to leave that place! I'll keep you informed. been at the front gate. No. Airman? Even if I weren't to leave, somebody blah 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 blah. Huh? Oh, this is an eviction. Oh, we're like 10 years or 13 years further. Oh. Mr. Michael Arthit. Due to irregularities during its acquisition process carried over by Mr. Jerry P. Carter, which immediately leave the property known as Blackwood Manor. If you fail to comply, legal proceedings will be enforced against you. You have two days to effectively abandon the property after the issuing of this notice. 
You take no responsibility for the courier service. Police officers are due to arrive at the Blackwood Manor on Tuesday, October 15th. You should be present, you will be immediately taken into custody without further notification. So that was the reason why Jerry wanted me to leave the house so badly. I really realized that he wouldn't have come for me. Then it was up to, up to me to find a way to leave the house. Jerry fooled me. I can't believe he did this to me. Faking the acquisition of the house. I have known him for years. I'm deeply hurt, but more so worried. I have a few hours left to do something about Blackwood Manor. I must see the solution to the mystery. Be long. The mystery will last forever. Deal with Jerry later. Okay, but we still don't know what to do further. They're just trying to leave then, huh? So is the uncharted battery of my car? There's one place that I've seen that has electricity. It's not the house. It's Dynamo Boy. Should we put you in? Maybe you saw what? Right over here? Okay. Okay. Right. That enough? Be more than that. Do it a couple more times. It should be charged by now. But I only have to do it once. Ah, oh, fuck you. There's a small charge in here. This is... Yep. Guess we're leaving. I'm about myself leave the manor. It's only if I'm responsible for storing the force that... Up to now, laying dormant inside the house. I had to do something. I'm going to leave this place right now by clearance without dealing with the presence haunting the house first. It's my responsibility now. I'm finally putting the pieces together. I'm suffering the same ailment that disturbed Blackwood and then turned Milton. Rest the whispers and the feeling for presence stalking me in the house. The only possible explanation is that the curse is real and I have provided with my arrival. I must do something about this. Alright, what do we do? The only thing we haven't done is... is... Making sure that we buried a lady. Oh, not buried someone. So I'm just gonna try and use this. The damn soil of an ugly was a need of a point of reference. I was studying the photograph again. Just leave it like this. Well, you want you don't want to disturb anymore. This should be the place. Go ahead. No, it's damn soil. You have a point of reference. It's all about studying the photo. No, I'm not gonna study the photo with him. Dip at the top. Better place. 
this this one. Wait, it is there. The tip. That place. I switch it. Fine and sad, and fun uncovering the dead body of Catherine Blackwood. All those years, she was left to rot in this improvised tomb. Uh, I don't pull it. I have pliers. Do it without success. When my best victim are repulsion, I pull out a tooth from the body. Anything else? Where's this Blackwood? She's sadly shunning at me. Covered a body of Catherine Black, so it was true. Never retrieved it. I wonder if her soul was found some rest. Don't tell me it won't. The lamb of the throat. All of the throat are turned Catherine to the Only one thing left to do. Because it says an amulet or necklace. Just you fly for this as well? Nice. Cool. You know any other clues? I know of the amulet using whatever. Wait. We have all the ingredients. Now, we're finally using the grinder. I was wondering where we, when or how we would have used it. Yeah, I'm going the long way. I don't care. I'm going the long way. It's still 5 p.m. Almost there. Almost there. Let's appease. The thing. This is weird that why there's a random stove in the place store. Like why you need that if you have a furnace, you know? Why do you need that? I don't know. Toots. Boy. Close. Right. Crowns. Okay. Close. Open. Tell him. Yep. It's in. Close. Right. Open. Stuff. X. Got it. The mixture of a human tooth and a lion's claw. Bizarre. My god. Onto the workshop. Which is uppest, uppest place in the house. Uppest place. 
left is through. Stove. So, put this in. So many ways from missing. Barry. Barry. Now you have it. Put it in. You have a flat surface for this? Oh. This thing? Light. Hire me, I'm a fuck. Need a pot or something. Oh, asshole. That's what the rod is for. Okay. We don't have the can lit. Painting room. It's close by at least, but I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I'm still very happy I have a guide. Yes, I'm playing with. I'm, it says for, but this game needs like, needed a guide. And, and, and that. I thought the letter of the cannons, I thought it might come in handy. Yeah, you thought. You see, you done nothing. You done nothing. You think it comes in handy. The only, the only time when it comes in handy is. Ba -ba 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 -bum. We're making a random thing to appease a dark, eventual spirit. And a rod, God rats the rod, was even for his dumb stove, which I didn't make the connections until the guy says we need to put it in. How? Put it on. Put it on, put it on. Turn on. I mean, light the stove as well. I'm trying to light the stove. Asshole. Okay. Wait. What's that? Stone fell around the door. She was almost there again. Now we go to the the thing and cleanse. <laughs> Why is the game trying to be scary now? <laughs> That's just some device. It really felt strange decision. It seemed to be vibrating. I was ready. There you go. Lift the outlet in front of the mask and then. At first, nothing seemed to happen, but then the atmosphere felt lighter. I was been relieved of the monster's burden. Nothing else seemed to happen. We can go. We did it. Let's go home then. I heard from the original events for Blackwood started years ago. I feel weird doing this because I'm not fully convinced of the story. At least I have to try. There's something is wrong with this heart and a mask. The mask is silent. I start to think I'm be sad about it. I'm gone after the whispers in my mind and the constant presence around me. I feel relieved somehow and... I'm gonna say this. It seems like the house feels the same way. Am I making sense? Well, I'm not a single thing does now. Too fine. That's the only, only thing that matters now. True! I'm done. Old house, African stuff. Remember, kids, never bring African stuff with you in your home because they could be cursed. We don't know stuff about Africa. It's a, it's, it's a continent. People, people live there now. I know. I know. I want to speak with Jerry of the incident. I felt the same way ever since. Well, so they're paralyzed in terror. It's been a horrible noise again, and you just wouldn't stop. I 
side. As I went down the fireplace, I couldn't shake the feeling of entering a forbidden zone. This had been was supposed to remain forgotten in time. This is the place that he was in. He was. Shit. I was full of junk. Is this where he was living? Wait, who was here? Milton? Was Milton living there? Uh. Oh shit. I remember being soaking wet and shaking fair. I just had to go in. As I'm driven by an unseen force. of food on the table. Someone or something I believe down here. Fresh water was there before, but that's how we drank. That's how we stayed alive. He was trying to get out. He was trying he was scratching his way out of it. He was locked in there. Bill breaks up a roof from his wall, building a large wall. The smell coming from inside the hole is unbearable. Go in, if you want to. Right. A disgusting teddy bear covered in mud and dirt was lying on the ground. There had to be eyes in her grip its neck. Only the words of William Bailey concerning the body of cats in black when they're gonna my hands. Ripped, she would say. Oh no. Am I supposed to go in or am I supposed to go away? Probably. Huh. Traces of raw meat. Feels as if they had been dropped to the grave. Well, it's time let's face it, whatever it was. Wait, that's the... A zombie. He was cursed. A zombie. Unsure of what I had just seen, I raced my car and left Blackwood Manor as quickly as possible. I am not ashamed of what I did. That disfigured face is still stalking my nightmares, and I've never put foot inside a Victorian house ever since. But there's certainly one thing that I'm grateful for. It was thanks to my encounter below that house that I was able to finish my book and become a prolific writer. Living. Oh, God, it's all. So, you escaped eventually?
he scratches the last visit. Let's go then! I'm going through zombie town. In other words, you must head right away to the Blackwood Estate and get me something. But sir, that story is long forgotten now. No one cares anymore about... They will as soon as the estate is demolished. Two weeks from now, that place is going to be smashed to bits. And such an event will revive all the rumors and madness. Michael Arthayet supposedly solved the Blackwood Enigma, but for some reason never shared his solution. Perhaps I could persuade him... You can forget about that. Mr. Arhate rarely speaks to the press, and less so about this story. Not even the most experienced and reputed reporters in the field have convinced him to talk. I'm glad to hear you think so highly of me, sir. Perhaps he decided that preserving the mystery would be in the best interests of everyone. No, I think he's a very unstable fella, and his solution was probably as far-fetched as what town people were rumoring back in the 60s. You know, a family curse or aliens from outer space possessing Blackwood. Yes, thrilling. What about Jerry Carter? Jerry Carter was convicted to eight years in prison with a serious charge of fraud, but only spent four inside and is now doing community services under probational liberty. He's never crossed a single word with Michael since his stay at Blackwood Manor and probably doesn't know a thing about the mystery. <sighs> I can't say I'm excited about this, but I don't have much of a choice, I guess. No, what you have is a potentially great article on your hands. Do your best as this is probably our last chance to shed some light about what happened inside that house. Fine. I'll drive there tomorrow. Why? I've parked my car inside the estate, and I'm about to start investigating. New car? Ooh, fancy. And we have all of the items we have. What's this? How come we have all the items? Nothing out of the ordinary. Those are useful. The ammo is complete now, I'm still not sure, but occasionally I feel a slight vibration coming from it. This is spooky, but we have all of the items he had with him in the right order, it seems now. So that one. And check that. And check everything. What? That's drained. Let's go in the house. I don't want to. The whole place is exhibiting signs of vandalism and trashing. God. Ah. Great. So that will make it more fun for me. What? Bitches went in. What is this thing? This phone seems to have gone through some rough moments. Oh, I'm glad he says it, not me. It's gone through some This rough. phone seems to have gone through some rough moments. Entire houses seems to have gone through some rough moments. The clock is kaput. We're not Michael. That's for sure. The graffiti is barely readable. Not that I would want to read it, I, I doubt it would provide many clues. These paintings must have been quite pricey. They're worthless now. That's a shame. The piano is also ransacked. Come for this. Of course. Oh shit! Wait, does that mean that zombie guy is gone? Or is he still in? Ah! <coughs> oh, there's an intense smell of urine in this room. It seems like cats have claimed it as their home. Ugh. 
What a charming little teddy bear. Its head is almost ripped off. Uh, ripped off. Your speech was ripped off. <laughs> Ah, there's some object inside that hole. Ah, there's also a nasty cat in there as well. Yeah, there's a look. Ah, it almost ripped my hand off. I won't put my hand in there to have it shredded by a deranged cat. No clues whatsoever to find in there. Fine. Well, are we supposed to find food over here or something? I need that object. What? Let's look around. I guess the doorknobs must have been very valuable. Bruh, they stolen the doorknobs. In its current state, this is an extremely uninviting dining room. Yeah, me had fun. Yeah, the door is stuck beyond hope. So, uh, what's behind the study then? Nothing, I have nothing anymore. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh. The doorknobs here were likely of a high value. No wonder. This place must have been glittering in its heyday. What year are we? I think I'll take my chances with the other stairway. This one looks quite dangerous. Fine, let's go to the other way. I still don't get it. What what year are we in now? Place is older. People have went sighted this graffiti. So it's very later, later, later. Okay. Are you able to open the door? The wallpaper is gone. Well, the wallpaper is back in its spot. Like, it's not this is the room where Michael Arfayet slept those three Arfayet. fateful days. Not much to see here, though. Bin. No, just a bed. A mirror, fireplace. The doctor's bag has been emptied. That's odd. Arfayet left most of his stuff in here. In turn, it seems, later visitors have barely left anything. Yeah, you know, thieves. Keeps. Destroyed everything. Right. Well, I can get over there, that's good. That's entirely blocked. I still go in the attic. It's a shame. That's a big shame, right there. It's for you. The window seems to have been covered with mud. I can't see a thing in this bathroom, and I forgot to bring my flashlight. Flashlight. Okay, so 99 or something. For two thousands. So we're in the two thousands though. He says flashlights. Don't have any matches. Okay. Master bedroom first. Main bedroom, I mean. This room was probably a cozy place before. Not anymore. Jesus. Hmm. A bottle of thalidomide. I remember reading something about that drug. I don't know what a drug does. Save has been opened. Can't even check this here, so I can't see if uh, there's still stuff in there. No. 
Aha, plot thickens. This is the gallery where James Blackwood carried on his eccentric hobby. Or what's left of it. What? What a shame, they took everything. I would have loved to have seen what kind of stuff Blackwood kept here. Now just check my videos. Wink, wink. Not much to see here. Not much to see here. The elephant tusks was for sure something that people would have... How interesting. This seemed to be a secret storeroom. Whatever was here must have been of high importance. Unless they wanted to keep it secured for other reasons. Ray, the mask is gone, so the curse will Just continue. useless junk. Mask is gone. Yeah, that's stuff that, that Michael says. It's the amulet. The guy we are... Boom doesn't actually have damage. Uh, we have noticed that some stuff is missing. Check the bathroom. I won't be able to go upstairs. It looks too dark. And, um, dangerous. Okie dokie. Looks like we've done our investigation of the house. Just like the greenhouse, mausoleum, and garage. Well, we cannot go into the mausoleum. Greenhouse. Chapel. There's a huge amount of junk inside this garage. I won't even attempt going in. Hey, garage is a no. Okay. Wait, can I still use a shovel? That would be funny. I can't go this way. Oh, you suck. I can't go. I can't go this way. So what are we supposed to do then? That. Yeah. There's something moving down that hole. There's a faint light coming from it, but I can't see what's inside. He did escape. He for sure escaped. Wait, so what? So what was it one now? Mr. Over here is just as stupid as Michael. I won't put my hand in there to have it shredded by a deranged cat. Ah, but we do have to do this. Do have to get the thing out. Don't make me use the gun, mister! Is there nothing else of food or whatever in, in, in this place? I guess the doorknobs must have been very valuable. Sure are. Sure are. Right, there must have been something. I'm gonna check the room to see if I can find something interesting. No clues whatsoever to find in there. I so don't lie that I'm stupid. This can might prove useful. That doesn't work. This can might prove useful. But these are the things we have. This is my trusty recorder. I'm using it to make a testament of my visit to Blackwood Manor. Right, ignore all these. They don't work. Those are Michael's stuff. So the guy has told me to fill the thing with... This can might prove useful. Yeah. Something is moving down there. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it looks like someone left in a rush and dropped all their uh, <laughs> souvenirs. I hey, best off the cat now. I mean, now we can we can continue. A 
and the prize is a doorknob. Let's go, doorknob. This doorknob is probably of more value than my entire outfit. Bruh. Don't forget to take it with you and sell it. Two places we can use a doorknob. Maybe? That doesn't work. Oh. Kitchen it is. I'll leave go to the basement and to the chap. Fuck you. Aha. It's on. Ugh. I wonder if this kitchen was ever tidy. Nope. Why did the door in the basement broke open? Let's check the things in here first. This door is severely damaged. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest beyond it, so I won't bother. Okey -doke. There must be a reason why the burglars didn't pick these cans. Oh, judging by their smell, I think I know why. There must be there must be a reason why the burglars didn't pick these cans. Oh, judging by their smell, I think I know why. Let's go in the basement. The atmosphere is almost unbearable down here in the basement. The walls are dripping with moisture. The walls are dripping with moisture. So what? It's a huge furnace, which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. Who could say that? It's a huge furnace, which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. Well, I think. Some cleaning fluid. Cleaning fluids? It's a huge. It's a huge. It's, it, 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 it's a huge furnace, which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. I have to, you have to clean something. I don't see what, but I guess we'll find out when we go and... It's clear. impossible to go this way. The door is rusted shut. Is that the reason? That doesn't work. <sighs> that doesn't work. Oh. Bathroom, 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 bathroom. The mud. Mud on the windows. Bring in light. He forgot his flashlight. Which he probably might. Needed to use. Idiot. I'll bring his flashlight with him. Shame, shame, shame. Over here, sleeves. That doesn't work. Bastards! Remember the basement? I forgot something in there! <sighs> I swear, I swear. This game makes it hard. Hints my ass. Has no hints. I know hints. The hints the guide. Guide the end. Fuck you, fucks. Back in the basement. Ooh, fuck up for a rack. Oh, which corner, huh? Which corner has a rack? It's a huge furnace, which still doesn't seem quite large enough to heat the whole house. What the heck is that rack? 
Yeah, you're pissing me off. Top corner of the furnace. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, there! My god, I'm stupid. How did I miss the rag? It's an ordinary piece of rag. Oh my god. Well, my assumption was right of using the cleaning fluid on the bathroom, but... God, as I said, I'm stupid. But a headache is also not helping me. <laughs> Let's go back to the bathroom and clean it. What are they? Ah, burglars. There's no rhyme or reason with whatever. They stole whatever is valuable. Yeah, something they did. Even gave one to the random cat to get it back. No idea. Hmm. The rag is too dry to have any effect on the mud. That doesn't work. You can tell me. Uh, the rag needs to be watered. There's a flood, so we need to put the rag in the water outside. Sometimes. I can't go this way. You know you can go this way. There we go. Now, let's go back. We have a wet rag. Hopefully you don't need anything else from me. Journalist. Such. Didn't even bring a flashlight. What a journal. Now do it. Better. I can't tell exactly why, but I don't like this mask one bit. Oh shh. Run to the mask. I can't tell exactly why, but I don't like this mask one bit. No clues whatsoever to find in there. What are you doing here? Can't you see this place is dangerous? Robin, please forgive me. I had to see you before I returned to my dying bed. <laughs> A 
As I hurriedly left Blackwood Manor, I tried putting together what I just experienced, to no avail. I was in shock and couldn't think clearly, and it took many days until I was ready to pass judgment on what I'd seen. The Blackwood estate has now been demolished, and I have arrived at a conclusion. It is clear that the Blackwood family, with the help of this Dr. Milton, kept their son hidden from the public as he was suffering from severe malformations. It is unclear whether he was truly dangerous, or the Blackwoods were simply psychotic. Quite possibly one thing led to another, and this situation ended with the death of Catherine Blackwood. We can finally give some closure to this sad episode in the peaceful town of Rothbury. And yet, there's something I can't quite explain. Uh, a missing link, something that just doesn't fit. We may never know what the real heart of the mystery is. But for the time being, this will have to do. So that's it. That was... The last visit.